Welcome back everyone, Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group here, showing you how to make transactions on the Coinami wallet. All right, so once you have your wallet set up, you're gonna have all of the different coins that you have listed, listed right here. And so if we go ahead and click on Bitcoin, uh, you can see that you have a receive and a send option. Okay, so if you wanted to receive Bitcoin from someone, you would hit the receive button. And then right here, is what is called your address. Now, an address is a string of 26 to 35 alphanumeric characters, so they can be numbers or letters. And so right here, this would be your public receive Bitcoin address. And this is also your attached QR code, which would do the exact same thing if someone was to scan it with a QR scanner or with their phone. Um, but so, for example, if, if someone, if one of your friends was gonna send you Bitcoin, uh, all you would do is copy and paste this address, which you can do by clicking this button right here it says copy you click that and then you would send that over to them you know email text message whatever it is and then they would send it to that address now I will show you how they would be doing that so this again is your public receive Bitcoin address uh, if it was a different coin such as Bitcoin cash uh, same deal you're gonna have an address down here it's just gonna be listed under a different coin name all right now if you want to send Bitcoin to someone you would hit the send tab here and this is where you would type in the address. So again, I just copied your receive address, but if someone, you know, let's say your friend was sending Bitcoin to you, they would put in your address, which is right here, and then they would type in the amount of Bitcoin that they wanna send. It's gonna calculate the US dollar value, and they're gonna go ahead and hit send. Now, again, uh, it's very important that you get this address um, correct, because if you or your friend sends it to the wrong address, that Bitcoin's practically gone, and, nearly impossible to get back. So what you'd wanna do after you uh, send someone their address or your address, they would uh, check with you and make sure that the f last four of the address, so uh, your friend Bob Smith could say, all right, the last four is 79W3, the first four is um, BC1Q, and you would say, yep, looks good on my end, just confirming that, again, that, that was the correct address, and then hit send. And so again, nice and simple, that is how you send and receive on the Coinami wallet. And don't worry if you're sending coins and it takes a little bit of time to process because on the blockchain, your transactions do have to go through what they call confirmations. Um, you can check out another video where we talk about that in our Binance Basics tutorials. But basically, it has to be verified that you do have the amount of coin that you're trying to send. So it can take some time sometimes, especially with bigger coins such as Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. It can take anywhere from, you know, a minute to an hour. I've seen Bitcoin transactions take even longer sometimes. So don't stress. Make sure that you put in the right address and your funds will go eventually. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to watch our other videos and we'll catch you next time.